Hi everyone, I'm Donna from the Land Rover Guidebook channel. Today, let's look at Parking Aid. When the Parking Aid icon light up at the bottom right of the home screen, Parking Aid is activated. When the gears switch to R mode, Parking Aid is automatically activated and lights up. The rear camera also turns on automatically. You can see the 360 degree camera view in the left menu. You can double tap the rear in front of the vehicle for a larger view. The camera features below will be explained in detail in the next video. Press the mute icon below to decrease the beep. The beep does not go away completely. While the beep sounds, you can adjust the size using the media volume keys. Tap the graphic on the right split screen to see the 360 degree PDC pop-up window. Tap the camera icon in the pop-up window to return to the rear camera screen. Tap the parking aid graphic icon on the bottom left to enable or disable the graphic on the screen. Tap the settings icon below on the rear camera screen to view the camera settings in the upper right corner of the settings pop-up window. If you turn off the parking guidance of the camera settings, the guidelines on the camera screen will disappear. When the parking guidance of the camera settings is turned on again, the guidelines on the camera screen reappear. As you turn the car's steering wheel, the guidelines move with it. You can see that the trajectory lines of the right split screen graphic also move along. There are two default camera view selection settings. If you select the select default 360 degree camera orientation as the landscape, the 360 degree camera screen will look like this in landscape. As when the 360 degree camera screen is set to portrait, double tap on the rear in front of the vehicle to enlarge the view. If you select portrait as the select default 360 degree camera orientation, the 360 degree camera screen will look like this in portrait. If you set the additional on-screen view shown when in reverse or forward gears to none, the 360 degree camera split screen will disappear from the rear or front camera screen. If you change the setting back to a 360 degree camera, the 360 degree camera split screen on the rear or front camera screen reappears. When the semi-auto camera view setting is on, the front camera is automatically turned on, like the rear camera, when shifting the gear to D mode and driving at speeds of less than 16 kilometers. Now, let's look at the 360 degree PDC pop-up window. The 360 degree PDC pop-up window appears when you tap the graphic on the right split screen at the rear or front camera screen. Or it appears when the gear is changed to N or D mode when parking aid is activated. Tap the volume icon in the pop-up window to reduce the beep sound. Tap the camera icon on the right to return to the rear or front camera screen. Tap the settings icon in the bottom right corner to set the 360 degree PDC settings. If you turn off the trajectory line setting, the trajectory lines of the pop-up window and the rear or front camera split screen are not shown. If you turn it on again, the trajectory lines of the pop-up window and the split screen of the rear and front cameras will reappear. If the automatic 360 degrees PDC setting is turned off, parking aid will not be automatically activated after driving at speeds of more than 19 km in gear D mode. If set to on, parking aid will be activated automatically whenever the vehicle's speed is 12 km or less. When parking aid is activated, the parking aid icon on the screen lights up. Closing the 360 degree PDC pop-up window will change to the banner at the top of the screen. Tap the banner at the top of the screen and the pop-up will reappear. If you close the pop-up window again and no longer need the banner, tap the parking aid icon at the bottom of the screen. The parking aid icon turns off, and the parking aid is disabled. To reactivate parking aid, tap the icon at any time at speeds of up to 18 kilometers.
to disable it. Tap the icon to turn it off. However, parking aid is not active when the gear is in P mode. So far, we have learned about parking aid. In the next video, we'll look at the camera features. Please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.